everybody. Welcome to another episode of World of Horror. We're doing another Haru run on Harbinger of Doom because we failed our last attempt. It's going to be a tough one. Haru has a special way of sucking. So, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the game. City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago, are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and adrenaline sandy, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops its last station. The end of the world's at hand, and you finally arrived in the doomed town. I'm gonna keep all the things the same. Uh, from the previous run, because I ain't no coward. I know I can do it. Banished to the other dimension a long time ago, Goizo has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey straight through the glass. Glimpses of horror lurking behind your reflection are just the beginning. Ooh, library notes. Is it worth using the library notes? I feel like I always run super low on stats with Haru, uh, with the Eldritch Parasite towards the end, so I really don't think we should. I mean, like, what would we even want? The healing spells would be useless for us. There's like a doom reduction spell, which is okay. You know, expel evil. Maybe Midas touch, so we don't fucking doom ourselves to oblivion. But losing like six stamina. Minus Touch is really screwed by Harbinger of Doom. I think we just wait and sell the notes. To be honest. Which is what it is. I'm gonna reroll. I want the Eels mystery. I think it's pretty much necessary to win. Uh, with this get up. I'm always super duper close, and like, if I didn't have Kana, we'd be just totally fucked on stats, I think. Haru already kinda sucks at combat. Alrighty. Eerie episode of Evolving Eels. While returning to your home, sudden one suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around, it's your friend living in the same apartment complex, Kana. That weird dude is back. You know, the one who studies fish? You shrug, opening the door. Canna follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, they return two cans of soda. Aren't you curious? What weird fish did he bring this time? I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. Will you check it out? You will surely recognize me if I do it myself. Now for the real hard question. Uh, how do we get our money? For our weapon. Part of me wants to just get a curse. I think most of them are not too terrible. There's like three or four absolutely horrendous ones that I can think of. Namely Branded, Insomnia, Holes, Paranoia, and Other Paranoia. Is there any other? Oh, Panic is also like a game endingly horrible one, or near to it at least. It's really, really, really terrible. Insmouth looks okay. Actually, you know what? That, that does sound like just a lot of garbage. Man, I don't want to lose to Doom again, but I guess I'm going to prepare twice. Hopefully we don't lose by one fucking Doom again. I think we absolutely need to get a weapon early. Inside of that, or we scrounge up a dog shit one and buy cigarettes instead. Cigarettes cost four coins. 
which is just absolutely, it's completely bullshit, but whatever. Oh man, this is horrible. Is it better to have cigarettes or weapon? The weapon's gotta be better. We can always get more gold later. You know what? I will get the shovel, I think. Costs four funds, which is completely annoying, because it's not that good of a weapon. But if it pays us back at all, then it will be awesome. And visit the seaside once. Minus two stamina, RIP. I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder, what weird fish did he find this time? I already said this. Damn it. Uh, call the police is doom. Get closer is dex jack. Or else minus reason. We're not doing great on doom. I'm gonna lose the reason instead. Dude's working at school, right? We could break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? It must be empty because he just came back and his classes begin next week. Another minus two reason. Thank you, park guest. <laughs> have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? I did not have that feeling. It's an eel. Mmm. I'll take the blood. Okay, come on. Aren't Jesus, please don't fuck me here. Yes! Oh, that's so good. I kinda wanna hold on to the shovel for now, though, just in case we get like an early combat. Uh, to begin with. I know it seems wacky because the semi-auto is god tier weapon, but it only gets super god tier when uh, you have nicotine rush going. And I want to try to cheese out at least one coinage. <sighs> Give me the eyeball. Delicious. Delicious wormies. You rushed the hospital with Kana, getting a lot of attention from horrified people. Your friend is taken immediately to the operating theater and you collapse on a chair in the waiting area. Wake up, dude. You've been sleeping for over three hours. You groggily open your eyes to your friend Kana is wearing an eye patch. Not so pretty anymore, eh? I couldn't exactly tell the doctors the truth about what happened, and I'm pretty sure I won't be winking with my left eye, any at left eye anytime soon, but thank you for saving my life. You still process the events of the previous night. Corpse eating eels that lay their eggs and eyes. Sitting with your friend Kana before your apartment building, you watch the police officers emptying your neighbor's place. Riders is not 100% the worst uh, town event. So what have you got going? The ramen's easy. Fable festival one's also easy. I think we should do the festival and then the painting because roads closed might screw us. I wonder if we should fight the innkeep or not. The innkeep's very easy. Eh, probably not. But still, I'm doing the festival first. Far out fable of a fear festival. Rantz had sent you a letter inviting you for a curious sounding festival. It's held every 27 years in a small village. You don't like the sound of it, but your parents both agree you need a break from all the stress. Inside the letter, there's a bus ticket. What's the worst thing that could happen? You ask yourself as you exit the bus. 
Just when you thought your stomach couldn't handle it anymore, the janky old bus stops at its destination. You get up and take a deep breath before looking around. It's a small village, and the nearby fields are surrounded by a thick forest. A fat man wearing dusty overalls approaches you. It's the inn owner who promised to pick you up. Falling close behind him, your eyes are drawn to his hands, which are so deformed they resemble claws more than hands. Uh, I think no matter what, we want to rest. Uh, it doesn't give us anything, but it skips the plot forward without giving any doom. Uh, similarly, I think I want to enjoy the festival, because I don't think that adds doom either. Alright, Masafumi. I forget what he does. I think he's the ghost hunter guy. What does he do? So like plus one damage against ghosts? I think. You know, whatever. Welcome aboard. Yeah, plus one damage against ghost enemies. That's gotta be fucking super worth it. Alright, come on. Iwa. Oh, Kazumi. Low tier, friends. Absolutely not. A weird sound wakes you up. Get closer to the window and look out. You can't see anything and get ready to go back to bed when suddenly the moon comes out from behind the thick clouds. Three hooded figures are standing at the forest's edge. One by one, they light their torches and disappear behind the trees. What was that about? They all wore strange masks. Should you follow them into the forest or try to find more information about the festival? Obviously we're following them into the forest. Right, minus three reason for this sweater event. We're doing pretty dog shit on reason. We are also doing dog shit on Doom. Both are terrible. Oh! Are you serious? Fuck, that sucks so bad. Okay, the shovel's definitely not worth. I don't think running is worth either. I think we're just stuck smacking this motherfucker very slowly. Gonna be doing six damage around. Maybe we throw the shovel in the last round. Or we could start smoking the cigarettes. I think it increases the damage, but it won't increase our combat speed yet. It would save us a round of damage, and we're doing the painting next one anyways. I think we'll have... We're gonna have enough cigarettes, probably. Especially if the cigarette case ever pops at all, ever. Wait, why is it only doing six damage? Oh, this is ass. Actually, unbelievable. Uh, maybe we should have ran. Hold up. Don't be a dumb fuck. Throw the weapon first. I mean, no, opposite of what I just said. Do not throw the weapon first. Okay. New achievement unlocked. What do you mean, new achievement unlocked? I already have all the achievements. Going back to the inn, you overhear two masked villagers. They're talking about something awakening up at next dawn. You wonder what's up with that? Decide to block the entrance to your room with the nightstand. Can't be too careful. We must have re-gotten an old achievement. Ooh, knowledge check success. Oh, these are both really good. I mean, I think they're pretty much the same. I'm gonna get core strength first. Because there's that one fish event. Uh, it's too risky to stamina loss, guaranteed. Tap into his power is a check for uh, Doom. We're not doing great on Doom, but I think we're not doing hyper terribly either. 
actually... Mm, it's, a, it's a one in four chance to succeed. Versus guaranteed minus two stamina? Minus two stamina is a lot of stamina loss. I think we risk it. Plus two percent doom. Why is it so quiet all of a sudden? Is that blood? Where is everybody? The trail of blood and sickly smelling sludge leads to an outskirt of the village. Somewhere in the dark forest, there's an answer waiting for you. An abandoned factory. That must be the place they took everyone. While exploring the factory, you're caught by masked people you've seen from the end's window. Tied up, they bring you to the cult leader. We knew you'd come. You hear a voice. Your aunt's voice, coming from behind the priest's weird mask. She signals towards the door behind him. A master is waiting for a final blood sacrifice. Don't know if we should actually go for this fight. We can get plus two strength and dex. For four doom. And minus two perception. Actually, that sounds fucking amazing. To be honest, can I brace and get two attacks? No. Yeah, whatever. If we get four doom, that would suck. I mean, if we lose because we got four doom, that would suck. Everything happens in an instant. The chanting cultist suddenly falls to the ground as everything around you starts to shake and crumble. Many, many members of the cult die, crushed by the concrete debris. You're lucky to avoid their fate and escape the factory building. You board the old bus, still clutching the hood of the chanting cultist, wondering what exactly happened out there. Winds of Plague? Pretty bad. Spiral Hood is pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. It's very awesome. And we didn't get roads closed, uh, which is nice. Take another XP bath oleo. Go to the painting next while we still have the cigarettes. Perilous parable of a peculiar painting. A damp looking letter addressed to you arrived this morning. Mamiya Ichiro, a famous painter you were once a huge fan of, has replied to a message you sent him last summer. He thanked you for the letter and invited you to his mansion. You're going to witness the creation of his true masterpiece, he wrote. Just how could you decline? You finally arrived at the mansion's gate. You're afraid you'll never be able to remove the lingering musty smell of wetlands from your clothes. Now, where is everyone? Find a heavy tome, burn it, minus 3% doom, awesome. You continue your search. While walking through the empty mansion, you can hear something rustling in the bushes behind the building. Help the dog, hell yes. Ah, oh, minus 2 stamina, come on. When's the last time I succeeded this event? Must have been like fucking 10 episodes ago or more. Crouching next to the moss covered stone is a woman. Hello, are you here for Chiro San's showcase of the newest painting? Ah, where are my manners? My name is Emi, and I'm a curator working for the art gallery in Shiokawa. Chiro San is somewhere in the mansion, I'm sure. I'd help you look for him, but I want to catalog these, she says, pointing at the rock. The ritualistic markings are unique to this region, I've been told. Sudden storm forces you into a nearby cave. Shit sucks. It's this friggin' bastard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven smackerinos. Only five of them have to hit. Bring it on. Get dominated, pillar vampire. Only 10 XP. What a cheapskate. There are countless paintings hanging on the walls of this mansion. All of them show alien landscapes and weird humanoids dancing around in circles. You don't recognize any of them, but the technique used is unmistakable. Ichiro San painted these. Get the freebie flashlight.
Um guess I'll rifle through the cupboard. Is that going to give us anything? I think that just gives us a sewing kit. I might as well take the check for the spell. <laughs> nope, just got the jump scare instead. Finally, you find a key in one of the drawers. You head to the, the private rooms, hoping to find the painter himself. Ah. You must grab, Amy, who almost faints at the side of the room you both enter. Every visible surface is covered in obscene paintings and grotesque monster faces. Chirasan sits alone in front of an empty canvas. He smiles when he notices you two. Ah, my biggest fan and Miss Emi are here. He stands up and comes closer, looking at you from behind his dark glasses. Would you please be kind and wait at the foyer? I need Miss Emi to help me with the latest painting. She looks at you surprised, but doesn't say anything. Okay, we have 15 reason. We're only going to lose three reason in the lighthouse at most. And that's if we don't uh, get our charisma high enough. Could we lose 15 reason in the two mysteries preceding this one? Or no, let's just say 12. There's a small chance. Uh, the ramen is a pretty short one, and a normal arms is also pretty short and has a stamina boss. I kind of think we're up to the challenge. We have 10 strength and the nicotine going. There's no reason not to fight this boss, I think. All right, thanks woman. No, you can't leave Emi with that creepy man, no matter how famous he is. You quickly go back to the room and gasp. Ichiro-san prepares to stab the unconscious Emi. Ichiro-san looks at you and smiles. You can't stop my work now. The painted runt monster reaches from the canvas and grabs a surprise to Ichiro-san by his neck. No, this is not what was supposed to happen. Oh! I think the spam attacks makes the most sense. So we can possibly kill this dude in two turns if we're lucky enough. Okay, we did 10 damage. I think we go for it again. All right, we're guaranteed to do 15. We lost two reason. It is what it is. You finally managed to defeat the horrible eldritch being and destroy the canvas to use as a portal. Feeling it won't stop it, you and Emi and Masafumi and Kana take your time and burn every painting in the mansion. Hopefully, Ichiro-san's legacy will be soon forgotten. Time skip. Horrendous. Do have a level up. CQC training. Actually, god tier. Uh, I'm gonna start leveling my charisma. I think we're probably gonna get another level during the mystery, so... Having... The option of saving ourselves three stamina or three reason is probably correct. I'm gonna do the Rotten Report of the Rancid Ramen last. Because maybe we'll get super lucky and fight the boss with some cigarettes, and we can just throw away the cigarette case uh, in the ramen one. Alarming account of abnormal arms. I remember when it started. The woman next door was strangled to death in her bed, with no sign of forced entry. The killer was never found, and the apartment remained vacant. Door to apartments closed and shield alone. What other ways in are there? I don't know if I should do the side quest. So it's going to be guaranteed minus one reason. I'll grab the XP. Apartment is on the third floor. There's no way someone used the window to escape the murder. It's this ghost. How much damage are we doing? Three damage? Even with Masafumi? Are you actually fucking kidding me? Oh, what a dog shit event. 
Okay, hold up. Can we just do the dumb old clap bows? We can. Unironically, I think that might be better. I think we're going for it, just in case we get another ghost. Like, if we get two ghosts, we're going to be like 10% doom up. Clap, 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 clap. Two moves right. So I'm going to do brace, and then bow, clap, bow, clap, bow. Three ritual moves, right? Okay, how the hell does that work? So there's two claps and three bows. We got three moves right. Oh no, I don't think that tells us anything. Well, actually, we can figure, we can do some mental math. So we got three moves right. Two, only two moves can be claps. So, if it was clap, clap, bow, 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 would we have gotten three right? Hold up. Clap, clap, bow, bow, bow. So, bow, clap, that's one. Bow, that's two. Yeah. We would have gotten three right. So I guess we start with that. Clap, clap. No, that's brave. Fuck. Clap, clap, bow, bow, bow. One move right? Okay, so it's bow, 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 clap, clap. That's what it is. There's no way it's not. It's not. What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, we need to do some mental shit here. We need a Jimmy Neutron super hard. So, we win five claps. Two came up right, so there's two claps to work with. We did bow, clap, bow, clap, bow. We got three moves right. We then went bow, 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 clap, clap, and we got one move right. What the hell? Then we did bow, 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 clap, clap, and we got three moves right. No, we, when we did clap, clap, bow, 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 we got th one move right. Oh, is it bow, bow, clap, clap, bow? I think so. Dog shit mechanic. I can't believe the fucking ghost gets the last hit on you and everything. We're not doing the side quest. We can't do this dog shit side quest. It's gonna suck some fucking shit from us. Oh <gasps> no, I hit the wrong button. Plus one doom. Damn it. I should have taken the cold bath. Whoa, we're having nicotine withdrawals too. Oh, even more minus reason. You know what? We got funds. We're getting back into the cigarette zone. Hopefully that'll save us some juice. Take more blood from me, Jarman. Let's check the building plan to find out if there's a place where the vents connect.
Every room is connected by vents coming from the Onya's boiler room. Could it be? You enter the dark boiler room and trip over the pipe. Cursing, you find a light switch and gasp in horror. It's not a pipe at all. It's a raw, long, rubbery arm coiling around the room and ending in a ventilation shaft. Coming closer, you can smell something vile and rotten. Why don't you just pull the dude out of the vent? I wonder. Why am I fighting this dude in the vent? Well, first things first, uh, we have an 80% chance to hit him. And get a couple good smackerinos, 92% chances. I don't think we can kill him in one round reliably. Alright, and that kills him. Boom. After the police arrived, the whole building was searched. Following the disgusting body, the detectives enter one of the flats. Inside the slimy lair, there were countless giant, semi-transparent eggs. When broken, they revealed hu horrible centipede human fetus hybrids. You're questioned thoroughly while the government people dressed up like the gas company and clean up the apartment. You're eventually released, but can swear that at night you still hear the faint skittering sounds coming from the vents. Contaminated water is no big deal. If we can survive this mystery, there's no way we lose, uh, because we have 40 doom to spare. Um, guess I'll get the charisma now. We are so low on reason. Rotten reports of a rancid ramen. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens in town. It is adored by everyone. Once people take a bite, they just can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. The shambling customers stuff themselves dish after dish, while the blind owner sits silently behind his counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. You're determined to discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What's its true power? Dog meat? Human meat? Flesh of the gods themselves? Watching the local news, you spot a familiar street. It's a feature about the newest ramen shop. The food critic has a manic look in his eyes as he describes the ramen. Uh, do I want... There's no reason I would want funds. I'm already cigaretted out. Uh, the cooks never enter or leave. It's this freakazoid. Uh, we kill her. Not even close. Have to try better than that, Cyclops neighbor. The only true way to investigate is to get into the restaurant yourself. Uh, I'm gonna hang up immediately. It's minus one reason. That sucks so much, dick, but we can't. We don't have the reason to spare. It seems that you're not the only one wanting to try for yourself. You stand in line for hours, your questions fall on deaf ears, and you are shunned. Uh, I'm gonna invite for coffee just so I don't lose any stats. The smell around the restaurant is overpowering. Grease, rot, and is that blood you smell? And take the extra doom so I don't lose any reason. It's finally your turn to order. One ramen, please. The owner's grin widens. I think I can discard the shit now. I might have one more juicer. Uh, to go, but I don't think I do. Sorry, Grandpa. It will not stay in the family. I'm discarding it for smelling meat. The Red Bull is pushing your face. It's so crowded, you're forced to sit on the floor. We had one more turn. It's this friggin' lady. Oh, she can't beat us. Too strong. With a slick hand, you fill a vial with the soup and walk out without tasting the weird dish. 
With the pulling of some delicate strings, you get the ramen into a lab. While handing over the gathered material, you hesitate. What should you send to the library? Laboratory. You look at the charts and cannot believe your eyes. While the standard test didn't detect anything weird, adding drops of human blood revealed something horrible. Whatever this thing is made of, it's alive, beating a soft pulse against the glass. Your friend leaves you with papers, muttering an excuse, and preparing to flee the town on the next train. Prepared for a fight, you march down to the restaurant. However, you find no Eldritch Horror to duel. Instead, instead you are shocked to find nothing but a gap in the street. You ignore the distraught customers still lining up where they remember the entrance. Investigating the grounds, you see something glisten where the kitchen used to be. Cautiously, you look at the chunk of meat, and then jump back with a yell. As it flexes, it opens a weary eye, grins, and wanders off on stubby black claws. You walk home shaken, in your head you hear the weird ramen breathing in its bowl. You only stop to throw up on the street. It's got Freaky Flood. Fantastic. Guess I'll get uh, Outdoorsman, and I'll juice my decks, just in case. We're good on stats, though. Get the last key. Excellent. There's no more mysteries to investigate. So what are we facing? Charisma Girl, Takashi-san, Shocker Rods, Falsy Plug, Pictures, I think. I think it's the enemy one. Boom. I think it goes top to bottom in order for whatever reason. Maybe not, actually. I don't think the triangle is next after Charisma Girl. Okay, uh, who did we fight second? Don't think it was Nameless Horror, or the painting, or the Pillar Vampire. It could have been the Pillar Vampire. I think it was the Kanoko Gatherer. Nope, it's the Pillar Vampire, I guess. Takashi Saiyan. My man. I'm too weak this time. Oh, just in time, too. We got the nicotine withdrawal. I grab the rods and shock myself. The dark clouds swirl around the lighthouse. Did you arrive too late? Get out of here, mirror. As unnatural fog slowly lifts, you are relieved and collapse on the floor. The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You manage to stop the ritual awakening in the Eldritch Old God. But what's done is done. It will stir in its slumber again and again until the stars are right again. You know what? I was shitting on B Timeline, but I think the Spiral Hood was a real hard carry item. That and the gun. We got pretty good... I think we got super lucky. Almost uh, too lucky in my opinion. <laughs> Kinda sucks the joy out of the win, because it was nowhere near close. But whatever, it is what it is. I'd rather be a little too lucky than a little too unlucky. We only have two characters remaining in our Harbinger of Doom series. I think after that... My next idea for random stuff to do would be, uh, probably more combos, like hard combos. Like, I remember reading comments which talked about doing Mimi with scars and how that one was a giant pain in the ass because Mimi has, like, a very, very, very low starting reason uh, when you include the scars. So that could be a good one. Not quite sure if I'd want to do it on Harbinger of Doom or if I'd want to do it on the hard mode difficulty. I think we're getting the hang of Harbinger of Doom. I don't know. We shall see. Anyways, next one for sure I think is Aiko. Who is a pretty good character. Very good abilities. So, that'll be what we're doing next. Thank you very much for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time for more World of Horror. Goodbye!